goes. Yeah. Oh my goodness, here we are live. Are we on? We are on. We are here today to Is talk about... Everything Brit. No, everything Meghan Markle and Harry. Oh my God, have I got some good questions Hold for on. you? Hold on, first of all, everyone, we're gonna have our honesty tea. This is tea time with Luke from England. <laughs> yes. And Dorinda Medley from Massachusetts. America. America. <laughs> from <laughs> Ooh, I show lovely. You a little tea. A little honesty tea. This tea Dorinda <laughs> put into the teapot and said the flower will burst. And oh my goodness. just like that, That's the flower the honesty burst. Tea. Honesty tea. For an honest chat with Dorinda Medley. Yes. All right, everybody, fans, let us begin. Okay. Well, I am fascinated by the whole thing. Can I, here, push over a little more so we okay. can see you. Are you ready for me to go with my questions for you? First of all, can you believe <clears throat> they're leaving for Canada? Just, just point blank, let's just say, can you believe this girl hasn't even been married for a year? Didn't attend Christmas, which I, as a, I consider myself sort of an honorary Brit. You know I do. And also as well, apparently, Meghan didn't even, they didn't even really tell the Queen um, that they were not going to be there for Christmas. It had to be the firm, the royals, the Queen, who called and asked them what they were doing for Christmas. Well, I heard that supposedly, supposedly, from you know who out there, I don't know if she's tuned in, that he wanted an audience with the Queen. Really? And she, I don't know if I believe that. No, you're probably right, maybe. Well, but then why didn't he go to Charles, her father, and say, listen, this is a big deal. Uh, also, to listen, let's just back it up. Okay, she had the how many million dollar wedding? Million. And okay. that's what's annoyed the British taxpayer, because if, okay. She's so, been wearing the million dollars worth of clothes. She wore the weekly, we got the whole thing. She, she, she threw, listen, it's been sort of, a, for me, that lived there for 10 years, that shower, that baby mm -hmm. shower, running that on, was a lot. on the private planes to different things. I mean, first year, look at Kate Middleton. Quiet, correct. Kate was so demure. Okay, so my first question for you today. What do we think here? I gotta see, we gotta, let me get my oh, okay. glasses. And She's then, just oh, grabbing yeah. her glasses. Yeah, because I'm, in, I'm interested in everyone's thoughts. Okay, my first question for you, truthfully, truthfully, what is do your... Do I look like Princess Diana? <laughs> no, you do actually look like Princess <laughs> Diana today in that shirt. Okay, <laughs> what is your initial take when that news came out yesterday? In the first 10 minutes of no, what was your take on it? I didn't believe it. You didn't believe it? I thought it was totally sort of like... You know, just uh, sort of, what do they call it? Gossipy kind yeah, of like. Yeah, just something mis that was... Like, th there has to be something mm -hmm. Because it's not possible. Someone that, in their first year, new baby. Yeah. To be making an announcement like this. Like, this is another Wallace Simpson. Yeah, and that's what it makes, that's what it makes And God knows think. he wasn't happy at the end of his life. No, totally not. He and also, she used to cheat on him. Apparently, Wallace Simpson used to cheat. Are you insinuating Megan's gonna cheat? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> However, it makes you wonder what her kind of mo motive was. They say in the British press that this whole thing of them going and doing it was a build up of things. Was it the glitz and glamour, the Hollywood film star? They played down, you know, the whole baby shower thing. They say also that once um, when Eugene got married, they then stole the thunder because. Um, they then, uh, didn't they tell some news? I can't think what the news was. Do you remember that in the British press? I think Eugene announced that she was um, getting married or it was her engagement and then something else. Um, yeah, but here, here's the thing. This is one of the oldest institutions ever. It has seen, I mean, for God's sake. It's sakes, been going a thousand years. I said to, to Bethany Sorney, these are people that created the London Dungeons. <laughs> Just saying. Just in case uh, we just, need to go just back Just in there. case we need to go back there. I don't think this person is going to mm -mm. have a big... I mean, these are people that literally have figured out how to suffer famines, wars, take over countries. This and you know, this is the other thing that I have to do a shout out to. I love the Queen, and I'll tell you why. Obsessed. She didn't want this job as a mm -hmm. young girl. No, no, no. She really didn't. She it was it was thrust upon her, and she did it. Not only did she do it well, she gave up her whole life and she did it in a fashion that is of the highest commitment. Mm -hmm. And she's And it's so admirable. 
And I don't she know if she was so happy half the time. We see not. her. I mean, if the crown is any reflection, that was tough as a yeah, woman. It was totally forget as a queen. Up. Forget as a person with privilege. Like I'll be honest with you, I watched it. and I was like, thank God, I don't have to take on that job. That's oh my a- God, who would want that job? Yeah. So another question I have. Most of you don't know, but Dorinda lived in London for many years, and ten. Mm-hmm. 10 years, which is a long time. So she definitely knows the Brit way, how it is. And the I was married family. to a, a Scottish. Exactly. Oh, and, you, she, you really couldn't get more British. My next question for you, if you were still living in the UK and your husband, you both of you were paying tax to the British kind of Her Majesty's Customs Revenue, whatever they call it, how would you feel if they'd spent all the state money on the wedding because the state What paid about the renovations? That. The renovation was 2.4 million. Pounds or dollars? Pounds. So, which is about three million dollars or just under. How would you feel if yours and your husband money had gone, would, and then they would drop in the bombshell? And by the way, people are not doing well in Britain right now. The no, economy's not, not great. We well, you know what they're calling it. It's not Brexit. They're calling it Mexit. Mexit. I know. Poor Megan. So, <laughs> poor woman. I mean, yeah, but poor Megan. What? <clears throat> She should have spent the first couple of years. I even had a problem when you know what I loved about um um what's her name Kate. Kate. Every mm-hmm. time she had a baby. Hours later, out there with the baby. I'm sure well, she that didn't was one feel of the like things. it. People didn't she, like that. You know, she presented that baby because she understands she's part of a bigger picture. She understands that this is an heir to a throne, and it's owned by the people mm-hmm. in, a, in a weird way. It is, way. because you're like, paying the tax. Well, not only that, the Brit, you know, when you, when you lived there for a long time, and I kind of had to incorporate myself fully because I was married to someone that was British and or well, Scottish, and... I he was never going to move back. So that was my life. And most mm-hmm. of my friends were British and still are. You know, a lot of my friends over there is they they really embrace this whole thing. Oh, they do. So it's like their extended family. Well, people always say to me, what's the difference with England to America or Britain to America? We have a royal family, whereas you, you guys here, you totally focus on the politics. Yes. That's your royal family. Melania, yeah, yeah. Trump and all that. So, But in England, we, we kind of diverse from that. So my other question is right now... I mean, now, look at what happened, just to go back. Look what happened the morning we all found out Princess Diana died. Oh, my God. The city was l- literally and figuratively crying. Everyone was in mourning. I couldn't get to Buckingham. I it's couldn't true. get to Kensington Palace because people were hysterical yeah and that's how that's how involved they get so my next question is because of all this drama that's happened harry william the queen and charles now after this news came out yesterday yesterday they were in talks with the queen their whole team if you were the queen dorinda yeah go ahead i want to see what people are gonna ask questions if you were the queen and you've got william harry and charles together you're in charge She's in charge. What would you be saying as the queen to them? What would you, what would your be kind of your take on it? If you've got one that wants to move to America and Canada. What are you off your rocker? <laughs> That's what I say. Have you gone mad? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Have you lost Have your you mind? Have you gone mad? <laughs> That's what I'd say. Can you imagine? That's what, I mean. I would be petrified for all three if they were about to come and see you. This has got a lot of attention <laughs> and this is going to have a lot of attention for a little bit. But you don't want to be iced out by the royals. Mm-mm. Because once the once they get... pair is done and they are sequestered somewhere in Canada, I think it's going to be a lot more difficult. Oh, totally. Than you it definitely think. will be difficult. You know, if you really do become. I mean, I find when. Um, what is it? The Duke of Sussex who married. The, um, well, they're, they're, they're now the Duke of No, no. Oh, who's the one that married. Um, um, what's her name? The. Fergie? No, who's the one that? This is what we do all day. <laughs> Come on, dear. Who's the one that married that that abdicated? Well, who married so Wallace? So Wallace, um, the Duke of. I can't uh, say his name wrong. Oh my God! Why am I having a blank now? Now we do look dipsy. Oh God! Basically, the Queen's father. No, 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 not no, the no, Queen's no, father. No, the Queen not Bertie. George. The Queen's father's brother who abdicated, which meant ended up. Is meaning. it Edward? Yes, it is Edward. Edward and Wallace Simpson. Yeah. So he, I I mean, if you actually, throughout the years after his abdication, he he grows very depressed and sad because once all the fanfare ends Mm -hmm. and they get sort of sequestered, all he spends a lot of his life begging 
to, co- to, to be part of to it. To come back in the circle and, and be part of family things and come back to England. And, and, and even I found one of the most depressing parts of, of that, and, and I know this is true because I actually know a friend, you know who used to go and visit them, who? is, um, remember what's her name with the great big hair in London, Dame? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Rain Spencer. Yes. She's so Rain Spencer was Diana's mother-in-law, but not her real mother. I yeah, think, right? I think no, I think that in Rain Spencer was her father's her father's new, new wife. wife. Yeah, oh yeah, so stepmother. Stepmother, the stepmother. Yes, but she was fabulous. She was. She had big hair. Google her if you get chance. Rain Spencer. She was the hair. Everything. I used to something. see her at Harrods. It was off the charts. A sight. And then she used to go to Walton Street to that brunch at that really. British oh, place the ways, the ways everyone goes there. The one so, where they had the Irish bomb. No, but I think that also the way that when when it was fam- they were famous for keeping their house as if it were still like everything British. All of his uniforms. Yeah, they all did. of the everything. Which is kind of sad. Yeah. So another thing that And my question to you is this. Let's just say this doesn't work out for them and it's that happily ever after god help do you think harry will be welcome back i i can't work out what they'll do with harry right now because it's kind of that catch-22 that and remember they, too to explain to me too i thought even though the son archie is not a direct heir he is well he is because i mean he's a direct heir but he's not i mean obviously they now have well, well yeah. Harry's seventh in line for the seventh, throne. Seventh, that's what I mean. So I'm he's seventh, wrong. and then so, I think but Archie isn't he would still, be eight. Isn't he still owned by the country? Well, they are all the time they're paying him, but because he ste- if he steps down as a senior royal and stops taking the money, well, what he, what her and him wanted, what from what I hear, they wanted the best of both worlds. They wanted part, be part of the royal family, but they want to do their own things and earn their own money. And the two in the royal family don't go hand in hand. You either are owned by the royal family and they pay you, which is paid by the state, or what they want to do now is they step back and earn their own. But people are saying they could earn as much money as Michelle Obama did for her book deal. And you know what they're saying the catalyst of all this was? They're saying Tom Bradbury, who's an ITV reporter, he said today that the reason that they have kind of made this decision, and this is a true fact from England, um, is the fact that they were downsizing the monarchy and apparently, they told them that they were not going to be such a big part of it, which was the beginning of all this. So they said, we're downsizing the monarchy, certain people will be doing more, and they're not, you won't be as present as what yeah, you but, were. but doesn't that make you even want to be a royal more? Because then you have less duties. I would have just gone with it. I don't think the money's that great though, you know. But the, what do they need money for? But it's... Well, true. What do they need money for? They have their transportation, their vacations, their clothing, their housing, their health care. I mean, what do, what do they... They're also saying in the press, did you see when she went to a Canada house or the Canadian kind of concert or whatever it's called? They're saying that she was dressed in such a powerful way that they meant business that day. What do you think? I mean, there's too much. Have we got any questions from anyone? I, I, I'm so fascinated by I'm so fascinated by Oh, the it fallout. just doesn't stop. You know, let's so, see. Let's see if we have questions. Okay, hold on a second. Where's my glasses? Oh, okay, there. Head. Oh, there they are. Oh, my, my fascinator on my head. Everybody like my fascinator. <laughs> and I just want to show you, you've got purple hair today, too. <laughs> or my fascinator. Of course she has. A real ascot look. Okay. Talk a little louder. Oh, we'll try. Okay, let's talk a Let's switch it up. Maybe we need to make it louder there. All right, let's take some questions. I want to get your people, I want to get everybody's opinion on this and see. Give us maybe they jump ship. Charles has been working towards a smaller royal family. This is it. This is what I'm saying. They're saying, so just ask us some questions, but I've got one question for you. So do you think if this was Hannah, your daughter, and she was doing, she said suddenly she was off, like obviously has happened to Charles, would you find it disrespectful if Hannah suddenly just announced without you knowing I'm off to another company, uh, not a well, company. Well, but it's not. Either. That's the grandmother, Dan. Well, th- no, but also Charles apparently didn't know. Oh, so, I see. 